Show me some love. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Eighth grade, unit three, lesson 10, calculating slope. Problem number one, for each graph, calculate the slope of the line. We have to remember that the slope equals the difference of the y coordinates over the difference of the x coordinates, or y minus y divided by x minus x. You can do this either way y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, or y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. If you don't understand it quite yet, don't worry, I'll show you what I mean. Let's put a point for this set of coordinates, 8 and 4, and let's put a point for this set of coordinates, 2 and 6. So y minus y, that would be 4 minus 6, and x minus x, that would be 8 minus 2. 4 minus 6 is negative 2, and 8 minus 2 is 6. The slope of this line is negative 2 over 6. This means that the rise is negative 2, or the rise goes down 2, and the run is 6. It runs 6 places to the right in the positive direction, which is equivalent to negative 1 third. The rise would go down 1 unit, and the run would go to the right 3 units. Either answer would be correct. The slope of this line is negative 2 sixths or negative 1 third. Graph B. Let's put a point for the coordinates 1, 1, and a point for the coordinates negative 5, 7. Y minus Y. That would be 1 minus 7 over X minus X. That would be 1 minus a negative 5. 1 minus 7 is negative 6, and 1 minus a negative 5 is the same thing as 1 plus 5. 1 plus 5 is 6. So the slope of this line is negative 6 over 6, which is the same thing as negative 1. This means that the rise goes down 6 units, or negative 6 units, and the run moves to the right, or runs, positive 6 units. Graph C. Let's put a point at coordinates negative 2 and negative 8, and let's put a point at coordinates negative 6, negative 3. Y minus Y. That would be negative 8 minus a negative 3. X minus X. That would be negative 2 minus a negative 6. Negative 8 minus a negative 3 is the same thing as negative 8 plus 3, or negative 5. Negative 2 minus a negative 6 is the same thing as negative 2 plus 6, or 4. The slope for this line is negative 5 over 4. That means down 5 units and runs to the right 4 units. Problem number 2. Match each pair of points to the slope of the line that joins them. We have to remember that the slope equals the difference of the y coordinates over the difference of the x coordinates, or y minus y over x minus x. Remember, this could be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, or y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Here we go. A. 2 minus 10 over 7 minus 9. So on top we have the difference of the y values which is 2 minus 10 or negative 8 and on the bottom we have the difference of the x values which is 7 minus 9 or negative 2. Since negative 8 divided by negative 2 is 4 the slope of this line is 4. I also could have done it this way. The difference of the y values 10 minus 2 over the difference of the x values 9 minus 7. 10 minus 2 is 8, and 9 minus 7 is 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. The slope of the line that match these pair of points is 4. The y value negative 5 minus the y value negative 11, that's the same as minus a negative. I like to look at it as the opposite of a negative, and the opposite of a negative is a positive. So negative 5 plus 11 over negative 1 minus negative 8. 
or negative 1 minus the opposite of negative 8. And the opposite of negative 8 is plus 8. So negative 1 plus 8. Negative 5 plus 11 is 6. And negative 1 plus 8 is 7. So the slope of this line would be 6 over 7. C. 3 minus a negative 6, which would be positive 6, over 2 minus 5. 3 plus 6 is 9, and 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Since 9 divided by negative 3 equals negative 3, then the slope of this line would equal negative 3. D. Negative 1 minus 3 over 5 minus 6. Negative 1 minus 3 equals negative 4, and 5 minus 6 equals negative 1. Negative 4 divided by negative 1 equals positive 4. The slope of this line would be positive 4. E. 2 minus 7 over 6 minus 4. 2 minus 7 equals negative 5, and 6 minus 4 equals 2. The slope of this line would be negative 5 over 2. Problem number 3. Draw a line with the given slope through the given point. What other point lies on that line? A. Point A. Slope equals negative 3. First I need to locate point A. And since it has a slope of negative 3, that means the rise is negative 3 and the run is one unit to the right. I can plot more points by going down 3 and to the right 1. Down 3 and to the right 1. Here I can see that point B is also on this line. Here's a look at the line with a negative 3 slope. B. Point A and the slope equals negative 1 over 4. Like before, I start at point A, only this time I go down one unit and to the right four units. Down one unit, to the right four units. And you can see that point D is also on this line. Here's a look at the line with a negative one over four or negative one fourth slope. C, point C. Slope equals negative 1 over 2, or negative 1 half. First I need to find point C, then I need to go down 1 unit and to the right 2 units. Down 1 unit, to the right 2 units. I can continue that until I find the other point that's on the line. Here I can see that point E is also on the line, and here's a look at the line with a slope of negative 1 half. D. Point E, slope equals negative 2 over 3. That means that the rise will go 2 units down, and the run will be 3 units to the right. And you can see that point B is also on this line. Here's a look at the line that has a negative 2 thirds slope. Problem number 4, from 8th grade, Unit 3, Lesson 8. Make a sketch of a linear relationship with a slope of 4 and a negative y-intercept. Show how you know the slope is 4 and write an equation for the line. The first thing I'll do is put a point somewhere on the y-axis but below the x-axis. This way I know that it will have a negative y-intercept. I can start at this point for the y-intercept and move up 4 units and then to the right 1 unit because it has a slope of 4. That would mean that there's a rise of four units and a run to the right of one unit. So up four and to the right one. Then I can put my next point. I can use these points to sketch a line. So here's a look at a line that has a slope of four and a negative y-intercept. The equation that I wrote is y equals 4x minus 2. Help me disrupt YouTube's algorithm by liking this video, commenting on this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks. I appreciate it.